What's going on guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna to show you how to do an eye zoom transition inside DaVinci Resolve. Let's get into it. Transitions are a great way to express your style within your video. I myself don't use transitions all the time, but when a need calls for it, I love to put it in the video because it will enhance it that much more. Today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how I created this eye zoom transition. Let's hop inside DaVinci Resolve and we'll get going. All right guys, so I'm inside the edit page and I've got two different clips. I've got my footage of the eye right here and then I've got just some footage of a field with a sunset going on right here because I felt like it fit pretty well. Uh, there's only a couple steps to this. So the first step is we're gonna take this, drop it underneath so we've got our eye clip on top and our, uh, you know, field underneath ideally you would want both of these to be the same length and this one possibly to be even longer but i only have this clip right here so we're just going to deal with that today it'll work fine for the tutorial we're actually going to hop inside the color page and once we're inside the color page you've got two clips you've got your bottom one right here which is the field and then you've got the top one which is the eye we're going to be working on the eye so that's where we're going to stay focused on the first thing we need to do is we need to add a mask to this eye so what we're going to do is right here you have mask right here these power windows we are going to add a power window right here i'm going to kind of just get it a little bit smaller zoom it in the way i need it we'll just kind of go right there for now uh, now you can see it's not doing anything so what we need to do is we need to right click right here and we need to add an alpha output we're going to add that connect the blue right here to the blue let go and now we can see it has masked it out if you want to invert this which we do we're going to go right here on the power window and we're going to hit this little invert button and it's going to flip them if you're having a hard time seeing this what you can do is you can click off of something real quick uh, and then click back on it uh, maybe it's a little too small and if you need to tweak a few things without having to touch it you can actually do it right here by making it a little bit softer uh, maybe make the size just a little bit smaller uh, I like to click kind of back and forth and see uh, I think that'll work pretty good now what we need to do is we need to track this which actually I need to go right to the very beginning right here and I need to uh, make sure that she hasn't moved a whole lot let me actually grab that and move it over here you can see we're running into a problem because I don't have anything underneath it so the black makes it hard to see so I'm actually just gonna hop over here in the edit page real quick move this over we can even duplicate this if we want. We'll just do that for now to make it easier. Hop back in the color page. You shouldn't have to do that if your video clip is long enough, but mine isn't, so that's how we're doing this. I'm gonna go to the very beginning, click off of it, see if I need to tweak anything, move it. Uh, maybe just a little bit right there. Check that, that looks pretty good right there. So now what we need to do is we need to track this. So I'm gonna go to the tracker right here. I'm gonna make sure I'm on the tracker. Uh, we are going to go with window and we are just going to hit forward track. It's gonna track the iris. Hopefully everything goes well as it should and it looks like it did. Everything worked well without a hitch. She didn't move a whole lot, but her iris did move just a little bit, so that's fine. After we've got that tracked, we can hop back in the edit page, actually, and we could watch that through and make sure that it's tracking her eye. So we're gonna hop back into the color page right here, and what I wanna do is I actually want to fade this in. So let me hop back over here, delete that, move this back to the end real quick. And the only problem is doing this with a video clip that is not long enough is right here you can see that even though I could fade this in right here, it still is looking really weird because her iris is really freaking dark. Like you can see there's a mask going on. So I want to fix that and this is okay but it's not really doing much. I can also see that it's definitely too big of a mask so we'll fix that a little bit. Uh, but there's a way to work around this and I'm going to show you guys how to a really easy way is you could always just Duplicate the video clip uh, You could go into the color page. You could delete this mask We could actually just have this fade in on its own So the mask kind of fades in but that's kind of obnoxious and we don't really want to do that So I'm gonna delete that and I'm gonna show you guys how to fix it all within the color page First things first, I'm actually gonna fix this mask. So I'm gonna click on the mask thing. I'm gonna size it down even more. Let me hop back over, make sure that's looking better. 
yeah that's looking a lot better uh, we're gonna go back to the color page real quick again you shouldn't have to do these and tweak things if you're doing it correctly at the very beginning I'm kind of rushing through this just to show you guys what to do uh, but what we want to do now is we want to fix this so her iris isn't looking so dark uh, you can see there's a mask on there so the easiest way to do this is we're gonna add another power bin uh, now I know a lot of you guys have seen some of my other videos on like removing objects and stuff like that and normally I've been adding um, you know parallel nodes or parallel mixers and you know splitters and stuff like that which does work um, but an easier way again is you could just go right here to the mask still being on the same node you could add another power bin uh, and we can get rid of it this way. I don't do this this way sometimes because it can be a little um, sketchy and it'll be a little glitchy sometimes, but it's okay, it'll, it'll work fine. For something this simple, I haven't seemed to have a problem at all. Um, if it was being weird, you could always, you know, add a parallel node or a parallel mixer, I mean, and you could um, add that second mask to that one but this will work fine for now so we've got our second mask i'm going to actually make this bigger i don't really need to track this because her eye is not moving that much and this is definitely overkill um, so i'm not even going to need to track it you can see our first mask right here has a tracker next to it i don't need it for the second one so if we hop back in the edit page you can see now that her iris is normal all the way through and that has fixed the beginning but now we got to fix it blending in so in the color page what we're going to do is we are going to click on make sure we click on the second mask right here we're going to add a keyframe right here on the correction number one which is this you could always right click and rename it but correction one is fine um, if you don't have these keyframes right here, you can um, click this little button right here. Sometimes it'll be on this. You can click that and that's your keyframes right here. I'm going to add a keyframe where I think it needs to be and I'm just going to tweak the opacity right here on the transform. And now you can see it dropped the keyframe. I'm going to go over, let's say like right about there. And we're going to turn the opacity all the way down that way it's going to start showing the second mask underneath it so now if we watch this through you can see that the eye is normal and then that fades in and that's exactly what we want and it's still tracking it if you need to tweak the fade in you can always hop back in the color page and you can actually grab these and you know stretch them out maybe a little more maybe the fade was a little fast uh, maybe it was too short uh, you can tweak with those there but that's literally all we need to do in the color page everything else we're gonna do inside this edit page and we want to start zooming into this eye so what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a keyframe on zoom position and rotation angle I'm gonna go over a handful of frames I think that's pretty good right there we're gonna start zooming this up you can see that it's flickering black because it is um, that second mask we added onto it. It's starting to kind of freak out a little bit when you're doing extra stuff. I don't know why it does it. It's just a tweak of it. Um, that's just something to be noted. That's why sometimes I do do it in a parallel node uh, or something else. It's still the same effect, but it is just in a separate node, uh, but this will work fine. We're gonna go right about there. I think looks pretty good watch that through it's not terrible uh, I do want to tweak the keyframes so I'm gonna zoom in here on the video clip itself and you've got keyframes right here we can actually grab this and zoom it up a little bit so it's a little faster I think that looks better the only thing we need to fix too is the eye instead of going even further I'm gonna fade this out so we're gonna go I don't know Right about here we're going to add a keyframe on opacity and then we're going to go over let's say right about here and we'll just drag it all the way down play that through again and that looks better it just looks like it keeps going and if you again want to tweak these you can move them put them anywhere you want i think mine look fine where they are i might tweak it just a little bit to find what works and looks good now I know what you're thinking. I never touched the rotation angle, which you are correct. Uh, we can just uncheck that if we don't need it. Um, I do like to rotate things sometimes, but this is actually looking pretty good just having a straight solid zoom in. The last thing we need to do is add a little bit of blur to this to really set it over the top. 
So what we're gonna do is we are actually gonna go to the effects library and under open effects right here, uh, we are going to just look for blur is at the top. Uh, you can also hit the search bar if you would like, but all the blurs are normally right at the top. I prefer the use zoom blur. Uh, some of you guys may not have it. I'm not 100% sure if the free version has it or doesn't. Uh, you can always use Gaussian blur or directional blur, or any of these that are gonna look good. I'm just gonna use zoom blur because I think it fits the style I'm going for. Uh, we're gonna go to open effects under the inspector. Uh, we are going to move the position real quick. You can see it kind of freaking out. If I crank it even more, you can see where I'm putting this. I'm gonna put it right in the center. The border type to replicate, so we don't have that black border around the corners. And we need to start adding keyframes. So I'm gonna add a keyframe on strength, position on both of those. I'm gonna go back over here and we will add uh, smooth strength keyframe there, there, and there. Let's go back to the beginning right here and let's just turn the smooth strength down and let's play that through. If we wanted our blur to be a little bit sooner, we could just hit this arrow. It'll bring us right to that. We could uncheck that, go right here, and we could turn it down even more. That way it starts to blur right before it zooms in. And I actually think that it did need that little bit of tweak right there just to make it a little bit better. Well, there you go, guys. That's how you create an eye zoom transition inside DaVinci Resolve. I hope this helped you guys out. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. It really does help. Drop a comment below on something new you want to see coming out. Let me know what you think of this transition. Is this something you might use in one of your videos? Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already with the bell notification on so you don't miss any of my new videos. You guys are amazing. I'm the Iron Giant. I'm out. Peace.